lovely coloring friends my name is amanda and this is my channel amanda colors and emerald and i are back so hello hello friends we have missed you all um for those of you who don't know sorry i'm a bit out of breath i was rushing <sighs> so for those of you who don't know um i had some pretty major surgery at the beginning of october and I am doing really, really well. I'm recovering well um, and things are going great. Um, but I just took some time to heal and, you know, take some time for myself. So we are back now and we are um, going to share my completed pages for October. But before I do that, don't forget that you can find me on Instagram that I co-host a Facebook group with Megan from Disney Makes Coloring, which is called Color With Us. There is also an Aussie Facebook group, um, Aussie Adult Coloring Buy, Swap, Sell, where you can buy, swap and sell any coloring related items. And I do also have a website with lots of freebies um, and other fun coloring related things. Also, did you know that um, peanuts aren't actually nuts. They are legumes, just like peas. So I think that's very interesting. Okay, so I actually forgot to show you some things at the end of um, last month, and that is some of my mini diamond paintings. So these were gifted to me by the beautiful Jody from J.I. Colorist, um, and they are from Paint Gem. Um, and she sent me two kits, um, and I'd absolutely love to get some more eventually, but they're so expensive to get here in Australia when you get the, um, currency conversion and everything. But, um, this is the museum set. So these are all based on famous paintings. Um, and yeah. She also sent me a Christmas set, which I think I've shown you some of before. But um, so some of these I did this month and some I did last month. And there are more that I haven't done yet. But this is based on The Great Wave. Then we have The Scream. Then we have um, one of Mondrian's geometric designs. And Van Gogh's Sunflowers. And The Kiss by Edvard Munch. Munch? Yeah. So they were lots of fun. I absolutely love the size and the quality of these ones. From Paint Gem. Put those over here. Okay, I also have a, um, a whip to show you which I don't often have, but because I have been doing more tutorials lately, I do, I have been having some more often. So I have started this and um, I'm following a tutorial by um, Color, Color in Dreams, Color of Dreams. I can't remember now. I'll put it on the screen while I'm editing. But this is all done in ink tense pencils so far, um, which I have been enjoying so much. The tutorial is in three parts, um, and I haven't quite finished part two yet, I don't think. Um, but I'm really, really enjoying it, and I'm learning a lot about um, ink tense pencils and different ways to use them, which I kind of already thought I'd. Um, I knew, but the f like uh, there's lots of layering in this one, which gives a really great result. But anyway, hopefully by next month, the end of this coming month, um, I can finish it up and show you all. So yeah, that's been a whole lot of fun to do. Now the rest of my books are just in a random pile because they fell over. Um, so this one, I've actually completed this book. So yay! This is my sixth completed book um, and I will do a full flip through but I will just show you the pages that I did this month. So where are we? So we have Merryweather and then I got on a bit of a roll because I wanted to get it finished. So then we have the Evil Queen and her as the old lady. 
And then we ha I had already done Ursula and then we have Princess Kidda. I think that's how you say her name. And all of these were done with um, a combination of my Thule Art ink, no, Thule Art, Artex and Life of Colour acrylic paint markers. So yes, that's a completed book, which is very exciting. So Matchstick Mouse Floral is one of the books that I wanted to focus on this year and I keep um, forgetting about it, I guess, really. Um, but I have done some in there this month and guess what? I didn't mark them. So let's have a look. So I did this one here. And all of these are with my Copic markers. I did add some sparkle on the edge and in different places on the um, flowers. But it's not very sparkly. I don't know if you can see that. Then I also did this one, which I really like. It's sort of dusk. The sun's going down. Um, and even though I didn't colour the inside of these right, I'm kind of picturing them as... Um, what are they called? <laughs> passion fruits. So I um, base the flowers on passion fruit flowers. And again, there is, I did um, a metallic on the um, bat's wings and the ear and in different places in the background as well. So you're really quite happy with that one. And I think I did some others as well. So um, I actually went away for a couple of weeks while I was recovering um, and keep an eye out for a colour and chat video that will be coming up because I have some big news to share with you all. But anyway, we went away and I only took a couple of books with me. So that's why I did a few in there. I also coloured in... Um, the Y2K Mandala's book by Alexandra Franzese, sorry. Um, <clears throat> and this was the first page I colored in this book. And I did this one here. Used my Copic markers and um, some, sorry, this is really bugging me. I can't get things straight. Anyway, um, Copic markers and some metallic gel pens. Um, and this book is just so fun and nostalgic to me um, because, yeah, it was my late teens, it was the year 2000. Um, so it's great to get one done in there as well. I also did my first page in Country Chibis by Alexandra Franzis. And actually I did two. So I did this one with the girl on the swing. Again, using my Copic markers. And then I also did this one for Disney Meg's Colorings, um, How Many Pumpkins tag. So technically there's two. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. And I've used some metallic pens and things on this one as well, as well as my Copic markers. So that's those. Then we have the... Um, Disney portraits book. So this is the small squares version of the book. There are a number of different Disney portraits books by Art Therapy and Hatchet Heroes. And this one I use um, for the Disney prompts that are in the Facebook group that Disney makes coloring and I co-host together that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And the link for that is down in the description. Um, so every week we have a whole range of different prompts um, and we always have Disney prompts. So um, these are the pages I did for that. Well, actually this double page I just did because I wanted to. Um, and because they're black and white, I decided I wanted to do the background sort of rainbow so that there wasn't just all this white space. Um, and I've put some metallic gel pen on some of the spots um, and metallic gel pen on the no, it's metallic Posca actually on the frame there and on their dog tags 
and the rest is all done with ink tense pencils. So then I also did Mrs. Incredible and this was actually for Pixies Projects um, Disney prompt this month, which was Mrs. Incredible or anything from The Incredibles. And I have used Inktense pencils, the black um, Sakura glaze pen for her glove, her pants and her mask and other bits. I also used the Inktense pencils in the background and, um, and then metallic watercolor paint for the skyscrapers and for um, different spots of like stars or dust in the atmosphere. So I'm really happy with how that one turned out. Then I also did Vanellope and she was one of our prompts in the Facebook group. Um, I think she's so cute and so sassy. Um, so I tried to do like lollies and candy and those sorts of colors, chocolate syrup, that sort of thing. Um, mostly I have used the, um, intense pencils. I've used the Crayola colors of the world for her face, like her skin. Um, I've used my white Signo pen and then I use some stickles to kind of make the jubes um, look like they've got the sugar on them and then make the stars sparkly as well. So hopefully you can see that. It was lots of fun. And then I'm going to skip to the back because there's another Vanellope. Um, this is in the back part of the book where there's like different writing paper and tags and things. Um, and I wanted to get them done at the same time so that I can count the book as complete when, like, I want to color all the pages in the book. So um, this one I did a little bit differently. I did some different colors. I used metallic pens instead of um, stickles. So there's still some shine, but it's not as shiny as the other one. But yeah, I like both of them. They turned out different, but yeah, I like them both. Then we have Miss Marie. Actually, didn't I do that? I feel like I did that previously. Hmm, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna show you anyway, cause it's still marked. Um, so this is ink tense pencils and stickles. And that's it. Lots of glitter and sparkle and pink. She's very cute. Then we have the Queen of Hearts. And again, this is Intense Pencils, um, Gold Posca and uh, Jewel Metallic Gel Pen. Oh, and Crayola Colors of the World for her skin. So yeah, I think that turned out really well. And that is all the pages in there for this month. I actually colored quite a lot because I was recovering from my surgery and had a lot of downtime. So um, Disney makes coloring and I also co-host a hashtag each month um, that is in this book here, which is Chris Reiniak's digital coloring book, Frogs and Friends edition. It is the first volume of Frogs and Friends because he has recently brought out a second volume and we are getting very close to finishing this book. Once we do, we are going to start on the second volume. So um, the hashtag for this was Frogs and Friends October 2023 and the page that we all coloured was this one here. So yes, I had fun with this one. I wanted to keep the colour palette quite limited so other than the little frog that I color the same way every time, I um, used blues and oranges, basically. And I wanted to make him look like an, a little bit like an egg yolk because he is actually sailing in an eggshell. Um, I used my um, Distress inks and a stencil to do the clouds at the top. Um, the rest is Copic markers dual metallic gel pens and glossy accents for sections of the eyes and unfortunately something did get put down on top of this so part of his eye is a bit ruined but that's okay 
So yeah, that's that one. We've only got a few left, which is a bit exciting because then another book will be finished. And keeping on the theme of Disney Meg's colouring, um, she and I are doing this book as a project book together. Um, so we're going to colour the whole book together and we've decided to do two pages a month. Um, so this is Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn. It is the pocket size book. And this month we did this page. So a little autumn fairy. I used my Copic markers, some metallic gel pens and the clear glaze pen on her eyes and her lips. Don't know if that's picking up or not. So that's mine and this is Megan's beautiful fairy. She did a really great job too. And then we have this one. So the little um, owlet and the girl with the owl uh, hat or beanie. Um, again, my Copic markers, metallic gel pens and the clear glaze pen on her eyes and lips and the owlet's eyes and beak, which I thought looked good. And then this is Megan's beautiful version. It looks great, Meg. Um, so yeah, we have done a few, but we still have lots and lots and lots left to do. So that'll be fun to get done as well. Then we have another, um, another hashtag that I play along with. And this one started in 2022 and the tag is Grogu in 2022. And it has been continuing into this year. Um, and possibly may even go into next year because we still have a few pages to go. So I'm not sure what Jojo Zahanna, who is hosting it, will decide to do. Um, but this month I just did the one page that was um, chosen by jo, um, Johanna, uh, which was this one. And I also used it for the Morgan O Colour Challenge that she sets each month as well, where you can color any Morgan O'Brien page um, using a color that she nominates. This month it was black, so I did the black sections. Um, oh, it's got marks on it. Uh, the black sections on the beast here, um, and this was the page chosen for Grogu in 2022. So, um, yeah, this is what I did, and I used my Copic markers again. Um, my white Signo gel pen for various bits um, and dual metallic um, pen and uh, clear glaze on the lips, the tongue and the saddle there. I suppose I could have just used, oh, and the nose. I could have just used my black um, glaze pen, but I didn't think of that. So <laughs> there you go. So that's that one. Then in the Facebook group that Megan and I co-host, we are doing a whole book body color with the group. You do need to be part of the group to the Facebook group to participate. Um, so if you want to join us, feel free to come and join the group, even if you don't want to do this and you want to um, use other prompts or whatever, you are more than welcome. As I said, the link is down in the description. So this is Magic Jars by Coloring Book Cafe. And um, this is the page that we chose to do this month. Um, again, I chose to do a very limited color palette as though it is nighttime and all the colors are muted down to blues, except for the light from the fireflies or the lightning bugs, whatever you like to call them. We don't actually have them in Australia, so I've always known them as fireflies. But um, yeah, so I used my Copic markers, my white gel pen and some gold metallic um, gel pen as well for some glowy highlights. But yes, we still have lots to do in this book as well. Then for another hashtag um, by Pixies Projects, um, which is Complete Cozy Spaces. Uh, this is only the second month that we have been colouring in this book for that hashtag. Um, 
and the page that uh, the, so the book is cozy spaces by Rader Prince um, and the page that Pixie chose was this one so I used my um, distress inks in the background Copic markers and white gel pen and metallic gel pens for some different highlights and things as well and I'm really happy with them um, with how the colors and everything turned out. I kind of wasn't sure what I wanted to do at first, um, but it came together quite well in the end, I think. So there you go. Am I rushing? I feel like I'm rushing. There are quite a few pages though, so. <sighs> Next up is um, Adorable Girls by Raider Prince. And I use this book for the Nerma coloring prompt every month where it's like a hair color and a lipstick or an eye color and a hair color or whatever. And for October, it was a dark hair blue lipstick. So I did this one and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, yeah, I wanted to keep her shirt white, um, give her some bold eyeliner to match her lipstick. So again, I've used my Copic markers, white gel pen, clear glaze on her eyes and her lips and metallic pen for her jewelry. So I really enjoy this book so much and I tend to use it for those particular prompts, which is a whole lot of fun. Next up, we have one of my hashtags. So, um, the hashtag, uh, so we're coloring in Sea of Colors um, by Angela Gonzalez, and the, um, the hashtag is Sea of Colors and then whatever month that is and the year. So, Sea of Colors, um, no, sorry, AC for Amanda Colors, Sea of Colors, October 2023. And the page that everybody chose was the one here with the squid. So, um, yeah, I've used uh, ink tense pencils, metallic watercolour paint, um, my white gel pen, and that's it, I think. Yeah, oh, I used metallic over here as well on the little crab. But I think it's such a cute little squid. Um, I don't know, it's just really cute. So, um, yeah, that's the page. And keep an eye out because I will be doing a compilation video of everybody's completed pages for the month very soon. So another project book that I am working on is Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. Um, it started off with Megan and I and now there's a whole bunch of people um, colouring along as well. And we do a double page spread every month. So... The spread we did this month was this one here. Um, I just colored it very simply because um, it was in the lead up to my surgery and I was still having quite a bit of trouble with my hands not really wanting to color with pencil um, because of the fibromyalgia. Um, so yeah, I didn't even do a background or anything on this one, but I've used quite a bit of stickles around the place and pretty much every kind of pencil that I have, I use in this book. Um, and then I used a um, gold Posca and black glaze for the ink on the butterfly. And then next month we have this one, which is gonna be a bit of a challenge because it's very, very detailed. Um, so I might need to try and think of a creative way to do it. Um, cause I'm not sure my hands will still be able to hold up to that much straight pencil coloring. We will have to see. Okay. We're getting there, but there's still a few. <laughs> so, um, in my journey through Asia, I colored this page. So I had colored this one last month and decided to do the facing page um, with the same colors. So I had followed a tutorial, um, from this one and, um, no, that was the one from Dreams in Color. Uh, the other one that I, the whip that I had, 
um, in Europa is by um, Maritz, Colour with Maritz. Or anyway, I will have it on the screen. But anyway, I did a tutorial for this one. This one I did on my own with the same colours and a bit of the same techniques. Um, but I also, yeah, I added some stickles and, and things as well. Um, using intense pencils and various gel pens and the stickles. And I'm really happy with it. Oh, I actually did that on the last day of last month, but I haven't shown it to you, so there it is. <laughs> and then, of course, Africa. Africa came out, and it's beautiful, and I love it. And um, I forgot to show it in my... Um, haul video which I actually filmed before this but you'll be seeing after this but anyway um <laughs> I colored this page here which I actually used oh, the AC um palette challenge palette so every month I choose a palette out of Sarah Renee Clark's color cubes um and encourage people to color any page they like using those colors um, which is what I did here. So I used my, mm, I think I used my Artex pencils, various metallic gel pens and distress ink on the edges. So there's some nice shine through there. And I'm really happy with how that one turned out. I think the colors worked really well. Um, and yeah, again, I'll be showing everybody's completed pages for that hashtag. Um, in another video. So I coloured in all her tour books this month. That's interesting. Okay, so then we have um, this book here. It's the first time I've coloured in this book. Um, it is the Art Therapy Vintage Disney Colouring Book. It has a hard cover. Um, and yeah, as I said, this is the first page I've coloured. I did this one with Mickey and Minnie in some film reels and I just wanted to do it really simply. I coloured it for Spicy Cat Colours, um, Spicy Cat Disney uh, hashtag, um, where it was like classic um, Mickey and Friends. So this was perfect for it. Again, I used my Artex pencils um, and some metallic... Um, gel pen for the border and I'm I yeah I just wanted to do it really simply um with the characters in black and white except for mint like their tongues and Minnie's hat and then the backgrounds in the primary colors and I think it turned out quite well then we have mythical miniatures so I actually did two in here this month um, because I was catching up on my mythical miniatures videos where I talk about different characters in this book by Camellia Angel Cova and the history behind the mythical beasts which you guys seem to be really enjoying so that makes me really happy so I did the gargoyle um, with metallic um, sharpies and Copic markers and white gel pen. So the moon and the clouds are in silver and various bits on the gargoyle and the plinth are gold. And then I also did the hippogriff in um, Copic markers with some white gel pen and some gold Posca there as well. Yeah, so that's a lot of fun. Also, if you have this book and there is a particular creature you would like me to do for next month, leave it in the comments below because I'm happy to do one that you request as well. We also have a Matchstick Mouse Springtime and I finished a long-standing whip in this book on camera, which was this one, and I will link the video um up in the eye cards and also for the mythical miniatures I will link those as well um, so I had done the metallic um, background watercolor background on this already and then I um, 
did the rest in my Copic markers. And I did go back after that video and fix this little guy's face because he just looked funny. It looked like he had a really bad beard. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. So I fixed that one up. Then only a few more. Um, we have 50 Safari Miniatures by Camellia Angel Cova, and I did the title page for Title Page Tuesday over on the Facebook group that I co-host. So again, Copic markers and a little bit of black um, glaze pen for the metal on the door. Um, then we have 50 Stylish Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cova. And I colored this mandala here for um, Disney Meg's color, Disney Meg's colorings, um, Disney Mandala challenge tag. Um, and the character that she chose for us to base the uh, mandala on is Tigger, which you could probably guess from the colors. Um, but yeah, it turned out quite well. I liked using the pink um, from his nose to help break up the colors a bit. And that is all Copic markers. Then the very last um, page that I, was actually the first page, but the last page to show you um, is from Cute Alphabet by Lorian, Lorian, someone. I wrote it down somewhere, but it's not in the book. Um, it's not like it's not printed on the book anywhere. So I did write it down, but I'm not sure where I've put it. But anyway, um, I have started coloring this book for Disney Meg's Colorings um, ABC Challenge, where she chooses a letter every month and you can color any picture or... Um, illustrator, any um, medium, anything to do with that letter. Um, and her letter was O, so I did this one and I've decided I'm going to name all the girls after um, the letter that they're with. So this is Olivia. I used my Copic markers, white gel pen and some metallic uh, watercolor paint as well. So, my friends, that is all the pages I coloured in October, which was a whole bunch. Um, and I'm out of breath, although I started the video out of breath, but I feel like I've been talking non-stop, so I'm even more out of breath or still out of breath, something. Anyway, let me know in the comments below which of these pages was your favourite. Also, let me know which creature you would like me to do for Mythical Minis in November. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and taking the time to view all my pages. I hope that you have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.